So it's early spring in the South Island of New Zealand. With excellent post-frontal conditions forecast, we've decided to start our flight from Mount Prospect near the Lindus Pass. This involves a 20 km hike in to take off, overnight in the hut, with a plan of flying north through the mountains the following day. We'd like to at least make it to Mount Cook, um, but if we get there in good time, then we'll keep going. I don't know if this is going to make the edit. <laughs> we, basically, we've missed a turn and we've got to do a little bit of trespassing. Nearly there, eh? Yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Heroin is nice. <laughs> that's not even just salmon. That's oh, fancy. It's Pam's. <laughs> Pam's fancy salmon. You guys don't even know what Pam's is, do you? Oh, they make them chips, bro. All right, it's the morning, we're just waking up. We're gonna head up the hill in about 15, just gonna have a coffee and head up. It's about seven o'clock. Pretty cool, eh? It's insane. There's a bunch of here. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's half ten, and we're waiting for it to turn on a bit more. We'll probably aim for like 11.30 or something, I guess. But at the moment, we're just trying to warm up because it's freezing up here. It'd be good to get warm before we go flying. Come on, <laughs> said, come back out. Oh, it's really cold. We're in a bit of a breeze. So we all just climbed into our sleeping bags. <laughs> If you enjoy the video, do us a favor and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave it in the comments below. All right, we are off. Heading up uh, towards the Ahariri. Just got off from Mount Prospect. It's pretty cold today. Jesse's climbing in front. So is Leo. So I'm gonna catch up. You. Doesn't look like it's working too well in here. Oh, looks like Jesse might have something there. He's just ahead. So I'll go straight for him. Working hard here. All right, so we got out of that low spot. It was a bit bit breezy through there. Now I'm just gonna follow these spines and hopefully each one gives me a climb. And then we'll be onto the northeast faces of the range that runs up the west side of the Ahariri. What a day. It's cold. <laughs> I hope you make it to Mount Cook. It's right in the distance. Cool.
someone's having a fist fight with their radio. Ah. All right, so we're heading up the Ahariri now. God, it's been turbulent. It's been some pretty ripper thermals. I couldn't quite hear that, Leo. I think the next move is uh, north to Mount Bath. Cool, so we're gonna keep flying up this ridge and then uh, we'll go to the next ridge, which has got Mount Bath. That's Mount Bath with the glacier on the south face. You can see the ice falls. Epic up here. It's been a bit of work keeping the glider open at times, but pretty awesome. Much better. I think we should cross after we get to the top of this climb. Let's glide across. That one. Northeast. All right, we're just getting ready to cross the valley. Let's go. Okay, 7,000 feet and we're crossing the valley. It's going to be interesting getting out the top of the Ahariri. And we're going to aim for this one. Right, we're getting the climb. We've crossed the Ahariri. We're on the barrier range now. We're gonna try and run the barrier range all the way into the Hopkins towards the V-Notch Pass by Mount Huxley. Are we good if we can make the Hopkins? Woohoo! Oh, I think it's going to be quite hard to get out the top of this valley. I don't think I've been above 7,000 yet, and there's quite a bit of snow. So yeah, we'll see how we get on, but I hope you don't land at the head of the Ahariri, because yeah, that'll be hard, but <laughs> it's a long walk. All right, let's go, huh? That's Mount Huxley. You! So epic up here. And I'm hoping we get a climb on this last spur. Hopefully there's no snow on the north face of it. And that'll be enough to get us through the V-notch and into the South Huxley branch. I think we're probably about high enough that we'll be able to do it. Where do you think we go? Let's go for it. Here? No, it's the V-Not! Okay! Besides the mighty Mount Huxley sits the V-Notch Pass. The elevated, snow-covered south faces at the head of the valley makes this the crux of the flight. We would have to make it through to reach the sunny north faces of the South Huxley branch. As I glided to the pass, I realised I was not going to make it. I'll have to turn back to gain more altitude.
doing a bit of admin on the crossing. Just uh, had to restart the GoPro. Just uh, changed to the Mount Cook airspace. Uh, so it's a mandatory broadcast zone, which means you've got to be on a special radio channel. My fingers can warm up now. Okay, so uh, I tried to go through the V-Nuts Pass, but I couldn't make it. I got flushed on the south face. It was just pouring over from the north. So uh, had to turn around, go and get the climb again, and then went over it again much higher. Now we're in the Hopkins, and the plan is to fly these west faces up to the end, I guess. Leo's behind me. I think we might have lost Jesse. I'm not sure where he is. Gear going. Oh, nice. Oh man, just landed in uh, oh, the bottom of the Hopkins. Thankfully, not the top of the Hopkins. I got flushed off a hill. Ben told me not to go there, but I didn't listen. I wanted to try it myself. Now, nah, cool flight. Flew. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how far I flew. Paraglider five six seven thousand feet, three to the southwest of Glen Mary. Epic. Well, at least hopefully it's been pretty slow going. The snow's not doing us any favors. Bit more flying to do, but it'd be good at, to at least make it to the Mount Cook village. So we're on the Nauman range. That's Glen Mary and Mount Cook straight ahead. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to keep flying up the Hopkins. We'll have to cross the Dobson at some point. Paraglider 56, 8,000, one west of Glen Mary. How sick is this? Yo, -ho! good climb on the Nauman, heading up the Hopkins with Leo. Yo. All right, we're crossing the Dobson. So stunning. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to run this ridge and then we're up at Mount Cook. Mount Cook! Mount Cook! Gonna do it! Ah! Oh, probably the village. Yeah. <laughs> Nearing the head of the Dobson. The Landsborough's on the other side of that ridge over there. The Mount Cook Village is just on the other side of that one. So we're going to have to take one of these climbs all the way to the top when we get to the end of the valley. But yeah, what a beautiful place to fly. We're pretty deep. If you land up the top of the Dobson, it's a bloody long walk out. We'll be pretty happy to make it out the top end. I thought Leo was going this way and he's just dove back over to the other side. Bugger. Hopefully he gets a climb out the top of the Dobson. I'm sure he will. That was my pick to go. I was, I actually wanted to stay in the Dobson, but I thought he peeled off this side. So back. Oh, well. Oh, I 
love this final glide. Epic. We were thinking about going across this side, but pretty too low to cross and it's pretty late in the day. It took us quite a while to get here. It was quite slow. Still no sign of Leo. I'm going to try and see if I can connect with Wakefield Ridge. I'm expecting to see Leo pop out at any point. Leo's made it out. It's just down there. And I'm maintaining here, but it uh, doesn't seem to be climbing. Oh, what a spectacular day out. It was quite hard work, actually. It was pretty slow at times, I think, because of all the snow. But my God, is it spectacular with all that snow. Epic. you in the Dobson. <laughs> oh, that was a wicked flight. Just got a ride out with Shane. What a legend. We're now on the state highway and we're trying to hitchhike back. I don't think we're going to get picked up if we're drinking beer, but... Epic. Now we're going to drive back to Queenstown. 